What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing an upgrade on this 2010, um, mid 2010 MacBook Pro. Um, so this computer is typically used for just like web browsing and things like that at home. So this is uh, an i5 2.5 gigahertz, I believe. Um, it's got a 320 gig um, hard drive. I think it's a 5400 RPM and four gigs of RAM. So it's got um, uh, DDR3 1067. Um, it's got two slots for two gigabytes in each. So I'm just going to give it a, um, you know, it's sort of getting a little long in the tooth. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a refresh. I'm just going to put a 240 gig SSD and going to upgrade the RAM to eight gigabytes, which um, I believe that's the max that these go, uh, that the max amount of RAM you can put in. So let's just get started. It's supposed to be pretty quick. Um, and easy. So it's got um, 10 screws in here, uh, Phillips. Um, these are all on the shorter end. And then these three uh, back here are a little bit longer in length. So I sort of got started already a little bit. So for this video, all you're really going to need, or for this um, upgrade, all you're going to really need is um, obviously the hard drive, the RAM, um, a Phillips head and also a Torx screw. And then on this USB, I have a, an installer of the High Sierra, which is um, the operating system this computer is running. And I will link um, on how to create uh, a USB uh, boot installer. Um, I sort of found it to be quite difficult. I'm not very uh, tech savvy, but um, let's get started. So I'll try to keep this video in sort of like real time um with as uh, the least amount of editing or anything like that just so it's sort of um more like realistic on on everything that you have to do all right so like i said i, I took out some of these screws already but i'm just going to take out these last four i'm going to put them in this little tray over here all right and like i said um these ones these top three are longer than the, the rest, as you can see right over here. Um, and I apologize for the wind. It's like very windy where I am today. Um, okay, all right, so we've got the cover off. Let's just put that to the side. Um, so right here, the RAM's right over here. Obviously the battery, the uh, CD drive, logic board, um, the, uh, the fans for heat, and then you've got the hard drive right over here. So I'm actually gonna start with the hard drive. So basically, I'm just gonna unscrew this bracket over here. Get this off. Let's just uh, take this. Oh. More turns. So I'm just going to put this to the side, put this right back here, and let's see if I can just, oh, so I can just literally lift up the hard drive. Um, as you can see, there's this ribbon over here for the SATA cable. I'm just going to take that out, and all right, so it looks like it's, it's supposed to have four of these um, little screws in here in each one, but uh, this just seems to have two. I'm also going to take this tape off so I can reuse it. And then I'm going to take these out. So this is Torx. So let's see if this fits in here. It doesn't. I think I need a bigger one. Hold on. Let's try the this one works. Yep, that's it. All right, so I'm just gonna unscrew these and basically, um, whoa, fell right there. Okay, and basically these are just gonna go into the 
the SSD and we can just put it back into the, the slot. All right, so got this one. Screw, screw this back in. This one. I'm going to do the same thing um, diagonal to this one. All right, let's try to screw it in manually first. <laughs> go. All right. All right. So there's that. So now I'm literally just going to put the, the SATA cable back in. Now just apply a little bit of pressure, just make sure it's in. And then I'm just going to set it back in here. And as you can see, it sort of fits perfect. And now we can go in and put this uh, clamp back in. Hopefully it's not too difficult. All right, so I'm just gonna switch out the, so this is a Torx uh, 6, I believe. All right, let's screw this back in. On the other side. All right, and that's pretty much it for the hard drive. And the RAM is, you know, there's these uh, two little flaps on either side. Just gonna, the tabs, sorry, you're gonna pull them back and the RAM sort of comes up. So this is uh, two gigs. And let's see if I can get this out. This is another two gigs right over here. I'm just gonna replace, replace this with the uh, to four gigabyte chips. Um, all right, so there's the um, there's sort of a long end and a short end for the connection. So you're gonna put the short end on the right side and just gotta be a little careful just to get it in there. Just gonna push and click down and it sort of just uh, slots into place like that. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So get this in there that and I, you just click it in and the tabs will uh, pull back um, all right that should pretty much be it all right so the one thing I am sort of noticing is because um, the original hard disk was missing to the screws on either side so this hard drive or the SSD is sort of moving but um, I mean usually this computer stationary anyway so it shouldn't be too much of an issue uh, so I'm just going to close this back up. I'm just going to give this a little cleaning with a rubbing alcohol swipe. Get the fans in there too. All right. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to install the cover again. Let's do diagonal, I'll do the small one over here. Diagonal on this side. All 
right, and uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So now um, I'm just gonna connect it to power again, and then I'm gonna uh, boot off this USB, and it should install um, High Sierra. But um, but yeah, basically it's that simple. I think uh, you know the RAM is um, obviously very easy to upgrade um, with the hard drive. I guess you sort of have to reinstall, um, you know, the, the operating system. So it can, it took me uh, sort of a, a while to figure out how to get it onto this uh, bootloader. Um, I will post a link to another YouTube video, which I used uh, because I, you know, a lot of um, videos on YouTube sort of show you that all you have to do is go to, um, you know, the app store to download High Sierra, but I had, a lot of trouble with that. I used a lot of different links and they didn't really work. Um, so I'm going to post in the description on how to do it. Basically, you have to, um, you know, uh, command the computer. Like it's just follow the link <laughs> on the video. It's, it's going to be like uh, too much, too long of a video for me to explain. But that's basically it. Um, you know, the upgrade is really, really simple. I'm just going to, when I power this back on, I'm going to uh, install the operating system off this and uh, we should be good to go um, so that's pretty much it so as you can see is it's very simple uh, very quick it took you know basically like 10 12 minutes total and um, you know I'm not very like tech savvy or anything like that and if I can do it pretty much anybody can do it um, so thanks so much for watching guys hopefully this was informative and helpful please like the video comment below any questions or anything like that and I will try to get back to you, um, to everyone. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll, I'll try to have more content coming your way um, shortly. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.